how long can you do this before you lose everything? Mark Hines is the sixth generation in his family who's fought through the ups and downs of farming. Like most farmers, we took on more debt, quite honestly, and to keep going. And that's kind of your only option at that time. But low milk prices have brought losses unlike any other. That's all we've known is this is a dairy farm, so uh, it was really hard. The dairy side of our business was failing and it was dragging everything else down. Um, so, so that's why for us, we had to make the difficult decision to sell our cows. This spring, Mark and his wife Beth sold off most of their herd, preparing for a big change on their portage farm. It was sad to see the cows go and then and go through the barn at the end of the night. We've had a lot of farm loss, uh, an unusual number. Dairy Policy Analysis Director Mark Stevenson says Wisconsin will lose 9% of farms every year. State ag data shows 5,500 fewer dairy farms than there were a decade ago. Milk prices have been low going into their fifth year right now. Price is just one factor making it harder to run a business. Costs of technology and labor, plus retiring farmers with no one to take over. Not just a bump on a trend line, this is more like a, a deviation that's bigger. But farmers like Mark and Beth Heinz aren't giving up. We need to be sustainable for the environment and sustainable economically. They're still running the farm without the dairy cows, selling beef to the community, baling hay for farmers, and experimenting with new crops. We're certainly not out of the woods yet with our farm, but at least we're in a place where we feel like we're finally on a path that we have some control over and um, are optimistic about the future. Holding out hope their sons can continue the Heinz legacy. Things are tough right now, but this is when this is when the most opportunities come by too.